Hello boys and girls, my name is Baby. I'm sure I'm going to miss seeing you every day and teaching you every day. Yeah, I am going to miss it, but I tell you what, I will get a lot more sleep and a lot more rest. Do I look so tired? Don't I look so tired? Yes, I do. Hey, today you're learning about animal adaptations and what they do to help themselves protect themselves and survive out in the wilderness. I wonder what type of adaptations dogs have that protect themselves and survive out in the wilderness. Not like I would be in the wilderness because I'm a home dog. I'm definitely not a wilderness dog. I'm too, too pampered. Too pampered and too spoiled to be a wilderness dog. <laughs> I don't even like to go out and use the restroom in the rain. That's how spoiled I am. All right, boys and girls, little message from Sadie. All right, welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday. All right, so um, really quickly, before you say I forgot to do my little hidden picture for yesterday. You're right, I did. So I'm going to do two hidden pictures for today. All right, so... Um, today you're going to watch Crash Course um, Living Kids. When you click on this right here, it's going to take you to this video right here. It's about 4 minutes and 36 seconds long. So why don't you go ahead and do that now. All right, so now that you've watched that, you're going to look at the uh, page on the next slide. It's called Animal Adaptations Match. There are five different categories, and you've got to think of examples to belong and go in each category. Luckily for you, number four says you're going to look at the animal adaptation images at the top, and you're going to sort them, all those plants and animals, into different categories. Um, I will tell you that some of the images can be used in more than one category, but you just need to choose one category for it to be in. Just make sure that if you do put it in a particular category that you can defend your answer as to why you put it there. All right. So looking here, all right, we have uh, different categories. We have living things that adapt to stay warm, living things that adapt to get food, living things that adapt to protect themselves, living things that adapt to conserve water, and living things that adapt to get oxygen when living in water, okay? And then you have these pictures up here of different plants and different animals and their adaptations, okay? And you're going to sort them into the correct category. Now, if you're having a hard time seeing it, if it's, um, if it's too small, okay, one of the things that you can do if you want to make something larger is you can do control alt, and then the plus sign, okay? So um, I have to put you down for just a second while I do this, but if I do, if I hit control and then alt and then the plus sign at the same time, it will make your screen get bigger and you can see these a little bit better, okay? So here are the different things that you're gonna be categorizing. Uh, a long straw-like beak of a hummingbird, thick hard shell of a tortoise, so as you can see, beaver with sharp teeth, a lizard with skin, um, all of these pictures are going to go into different places. And if you want to go back to being smaller, okay, now this is just um, being smaller, just this slide part right here being smaller, okay. You can always go up here um, in these little three dots right there, and if you click that, you can always make your whole screen bigger or smaller, but it also makes this stuff up here bigger or smaller, <laughs> okay? And if you do that, it's your it's the whole thing, okay? Um, I usually keep mine at about 90%, all right? But if you want to just have this part be bigger or smaller, I'm going to do Control-Alt. Mine. Oh, what in the world was that? I literally have no idea what I just did. So I'm going to... <laughs> There we go. All right. Control, Alt. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry, boys and girls. <laughs> I'm having a rough day today. Hold on. Control, Alt, plus. Control, Alt, plus. Control. There we go. All right. So now I have it back to regular size. I just sneezed and I dropped you. So uh, I apologize. I was trying to hold the 
I was trying to rest the iPad on my tissue box and then trying to hold the iPad with my chin and then I sneezed and then everything just went wrong after that. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Uh, so you're gonna move these into their places right here. Before I do that really quickly, let me go ahead and have you, um, I forgot my symbol for yesterday. Oh, lizard, really green lizard. You see him? That is definitely not a chameleon. You can really, really see that lizard. now. Normally, lizards would not be on the tree bark like that, but you see them? It's a cool lizard. My mother hates lizards. <laughs> okay, sorry. I got sidetracked just a little bit from that really pretty green lizard. Man, he's such a green color. Like, super, super green. Because normally, he's on leaves, and that's how he camouflages himself. All right, so, where was I? Oh, I, I need to give you uh, what you need to do for Monday. Okay, so I'm going to do things a little bit differently this week. I'm going to have you actually go to the very first slide, which is this one right here, okay? And I'll have you insert a smiley face, okay? So we're going to, I know that you say, oh, I did smiley faces. I know. We're going to insert a smiley face, and I'm going to have you put it right down here, and I'm going to have you make it red, okay? So you're going to do the fill color and make it red, okay? And if you, that's going to be our Monday symbol, okay? Right there, Monday symbol, all right? All right, let's go back to what we were doing here. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to move these different things into different places. So if the gills of a fish, if you believe that they have that particular function and adaptation so that they can get their food, you would put it there. Uh, the thick and waxy stem of a cactus, if you think it is to help it uh, stay warm, you would put it there. Um, the long straw-like straw beak of a hummingbird, if you think they do that to protect themselves, then you would put it there, okay? So that you're gonna do this until all of your items, okay, you're just, you're just moving them, until all of your items are somewhere. Now, do know that you won't have any that, there's not a certain number, okay? I'm not going to say there's one for here and four for here and two for here and two for here, okay? Because some of them said, like I said, some of them could fit in more than one place. But you won't have any that you've got six of them in this category and you don't have room for the pictures, okay? All right, so once you are done, you will have all of these things move to uh, certain places based on what category you think that they fit in, okay? All right, now at this point, um, while I'm putting these back, at this point, if you're still listening, I would like you to now uh, go up to where you just put that smiley face on that first page. And I would like for you to put a red lightning bolt right next to that smiley face, okay? If you put a red lightning bolt on the right side of that smiley face, then you'll have a red smiley face and then a red lightning bolt, okay? All right, that is it, and we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.